Theo Hernandez is one of the most informed players in the Serie A this season, with his AC Milan side having had a great campaign so far. With his goal in AC Milan's last game against Lazio, the former Real Madrid left-back has already found the back of the net on 4 occasions in 14 Serie A games, while he's also provided 3 assists. Hey guys, we talk football here, and today we look at if Theo Hernandez is currently the best left-back in Europe. The Rossoneri signed Theo Hernandez from Real Madrid for 25 million euros in July of 2019. He was hardly given any playing time with Los Blancos. Many were puzzled by how Theo struggled to impose himself at Real Madrid, but the case was that Marcelo was always ahead of him in the pecking order and Los Blancos let him go to focus on Ferland Mendy, who they paid 48 million for, but so far has 18 appearances with no goals or assists. After Theo Hernandez's devastating season on loan at Real Sociedad, he was sold from Real Madrid to AC Milan in 2019, where he has rediscovered his form. Since Milan signed him, his value has significantly gone up within 18 months, and he is now considered to be around 70 to 80 million. The now 23-year-old spoke about his time at Real Madrid. I don't know if they regret my departure in Madrid. I couldn't do my best for Real Madrid, as I didn't have the minutes. Without the minutes, you don't have confidence. I arrived at a very young age. I have grown up now, Theo explained. The fullback was then asked if he would ever return to Real Madrid, which he replied, I don't see myself as ever going back. If it's in my hands, I would stay on Milan forever. Theo scored twice to help the Serie A leaders come back and grab a 2-2 draw against Parma back in December. And it was also him who netted a 92nd minute winner against Lazio to keep his team on top of the Serie A table. Theo has established himself as an undisputed starter for Stefano Pioli's Milan. And despite being a left back, he's actually one of the most important attacking weapons in the arsenal of the Rossoneri. As good as he is on offense, he is just as good defensively. In fact, he is the only star from Milan's back line to not have yet made a major mistake before conceding a goal. He often finds himself in the right place at the right time to repel attacks. And if he isn't, he can get back into position extremely quickly. AC Milan have not lost a game domestically yet this campaign, making them the only remaining team in Europe's top 5 leagues to remain unbeaten in their league. AC Milan take on Juventus in a mouth-watering contest on January 5th. So by the time this video comes out, we should know the result of the game and depending on the result, this could potentially be a title deciding game. This will also tell us much more about AC Milan and if they are actually the real deal fans are actually making them out to be. Theo Hernandez will be back in the lineup after serving a one match suspension. The Frenchman is seemingly improving with every game for the Rossoneri and has had a direct hand in 7 goals this season alone, stretching to 11 and 33 appearances over the previous calendar year. Superb across the board, the Frenchman averaged 1.7 tackles, 1.7 dribbles, and 1.4 key passes per game in 2020. The left back is one of the most underrated players in the continent right now. Theo's numbers speak for themselves and make us understand just how important he has become for the team. On the international scene, however, the French left back is still waiting for a France national team call-up from Didier Deschamps. Hernandez will have high hopes on making the France national team in time for the Euros this summer, and to his credit, he fully deserves it. Personally, I would rank him in the top 3 left backs in the world right now, alongside Alfonso Davies and Liverpool's Andy Robertson. I'm not going to sit here and argue who the best out of the three is, but what I will say is that Theo Hernandez is the most complete fullback in world football, without a doubt. He showed to be amazing offensively from the start, but this season he has matured so much defensively. He's simply outstanding. He can run for days, and his stamina is second to none. Even 80 minutes into the game, he has the energy for his powerful runs. You just can't stop him without fouling him when he starts sprinting on the ball, which is why he is the most fouled player in Milan. When Hernandez joined AC Milan, there were a team lying at the bottom. But again, it was the club which provided Hernandez the best of freedoms. His attacking instincts flourished more and more. The technical director wanted a strong player in one-on-one -on -one situations to be included in a system, and Hernandez fulfills the criteria very strongly, both in the offensive and defensive phases. And he has now also improved in the back four. Sometimes he gets caught in a positional sense, but he has the speed to make up for it. And now he has become a symbol of Milan's resurgence. Hernandez is a blessing for Milan, and it seems like the best is yet to come. But let us know what you guys think. Is Theo Hernandez and as currently the best left back in world football. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe as we are so close to 200 subscribers and we'll see you guys on the next one.